been a long time coming, but it was a must return. Reality according to the super genius Mark Madden. Read him every single week on WrestleZone.com. Listen to him on 105.9 The X in Pittsburgh. Mark, happy to see you. Let's talk the rumors. New Japan, Bullet Club, coming stateside. This is a big deal to wrestling fans in WWE. Well, first off, I'm not on WrestleZone.com every week because they won't pay me enough. They'd pay me a little more, I'd be on every week. But uh, you get what you pay for. And with me, I'm a bargain at any price. As far as Bullet Club, obviously they can't use the name. And the Young Bucks signed with ROH uh, a while ago, so they're not going to come to WWE. But I can't help but think this is just a knee-jerk reaction by WWE because New Japan stepped on their toes by having the temerity to do dome shows that get on pay-per-view in the U.S., by putting uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling on Axis TV. I'm sure they're not happy about that. So whenever you tweak WWE, there's going to be an equal and opposite reaction. In fact, usually more than equal and very, very opposite. I think that's the purpose of this. Although, to sign Nakamura and to sign AJ Styles, they had to pay them real money. Uh, Nakamura was making big cash with New Japan, and AJ Styles was making, I would say, over two hundred grand, uh, maybe more than that even, between Independence, Ring of Honor, and, and New Japan. So I think they paid those guys real money, those two. Right. I think they're the real winners in this. Well, and I think the other reason, too, on top of maybe aggravate, you know, New Japan aggravating the WWE, is the network just launched in Japan. So, you know, what a way to take guys that are recognizable, that are stars in Japan, like the Bullet Club of, of Carl Anderson and, and Gallows. The thing with AJ Styles, 38 years old. Great performer in the ring, but 38 years old. It's like I think a lot of fans are expecting him to walk in and be a world champion, which I don't think he ever even has a world title attempt of a run. I think AJ will regret having done this in every way except money. And maybe even when it comes to money, when he looks back at it, I think they'll treat him like a middle-of-the-card guy right off the get-go. They're not going to acknowledge his New Japan past or his Ring of Honor past. He's just going to go in there as some guy. Now, Shinsuke Nakamura... I think it's going to get treated with a lot of respect simply because they won't want to squander that investment. In fact, I hear even now the creative team is determining whether he will blow green mist or throw salt. The decision has not yet been made. We'll keep you updated on that. Uh, let's switch gears over to Roman Reigns and the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. First time ever since your boy, Ric Flair, in 1992, uh, ended up winning the title off the Rumble. Uh, is this a good idea or bad idea of Roman Reigns having the odds stacked against him title in the match? I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea, Justin. You have to wait and see how it plays out. Uh, by the way, that Ric Flair Rumble, I was there live in Albany, New York. It was one of the great moments of my wrestling fandom. Uh, our guy won the title because I was an NWA guy way back when, and Rick had not been used particularly well to that point in WWE, but he came in and he beat everybody. He was what we always said he was, a 60-minute man, and I will take that memory with me to my grave. As far as Reigns putting the title up, it kind of skews the usual path to WrestleMania. Sure. Like, if he retains the title, which I expect him to do, how do they determine who his opponent is at Mania? And when you start in the fact that John Cena's out past WrestleMania, they have a lot of very tough decisions to make. Well, not tough. They have a lot of creative decisions to make. Their creative team, all 50, 60 of them, needs to really, you know, come up with something good between now and WrestleMania, I'm not sure they will. Well, the most popular option if among, I think, a lot of us talking about it is that if Reigns doesn't walk out as champion, the only other option potentially is Triple H because that business still needs to be finished between he and Triple H, and they've got to have a match. On the one hand, it's kind of like really, but on the other hand, Triple H knows how to manipulate a crowd and get heat and, and can build and can build a baby face for Roman Reigns. And, and not only does he get heat as a character, he gets heat as an executive carrying the title. Yeah. I would rather Reigns beat everybody at the Rumble, retain the title, and then Triple H is the last-ditch desperation attempt to get the title and maintain control against Reigns at WrestleMania. I think given the fact that Cena won't be at Mania, I don't think they're going to put Brock in the mix with the title and Reigns, do you? So I would have Reigns retain the title against all odds at the Rumble, and then he takes on Triple H at Mania. Although the downside of that is I'm already sick of Mr. McMahon. He was great when he first came back, and he gave Reigns a much-needed boost. But he's been on too long. He's been on too much. It's the same old shtick we've been seeing with the heel owner dating back for now, you know, a couple of decades. So, And the authority is even worse because 
Trips and Steph aren't Mr. McMahon. They just aren't. They aren't seen in that class by the marks. So I want to get away from that angle sooner, not later. But that shows no signs of happening, does it? You never did answer. Uh, salt or green mist? Well, I had mood to blow the green mist in my face once when I was on Nitro. So just for old time's sake, I'd rather go with green mist. A step up from fighting Gene Oakland in his underwear, right? Anything is a step up from those matches with Oakland. Follow him on Twitter at Mark Madden X. You can check him out when he is published on WrestleZone. And, of course, you can check him out also on 105.9 The X in Pittsburgh. You can check out iHeartRadio app. Mark, thanks as always. Happy New Year's. Thank you, and Happy New Year to all the great people at WrestleZone, and I want more money.